Hello and welcome to another episode of my beginner's guide to Todoist and today we're looking at the fantastic sections that we can create in Todoist. So without further ado let me first ask if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into my demo demo account now and start playing around with the wonderful sections. Okay, so what I'm going to do to demonstrate our sections in Todoist is to use a routines folder. Now, this isn't necessarily important inside a routines folder, but it's something that I like to do, which is to organize these tasks by daily, weekly, and monthly. But first, we need to set up the sections. So how do we do that? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing it. The easiest way to do it is just to bring your mouse uh, down to the bottom, uh, somewhere around here, and you'll see that as you move down, it'll say add section. It might actually do it up at the top. No, it doesn't do it up at the top, but it does it down here. So I can add a section and it's going to give you the option to name the section. So I'm going to do daily. So I'm going to call this my daily routines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look inside here for the things that I have to do daily. Now, I know writing my journal is something I'm going to do daily. Uh, clearing my actionable email is something I'm going to do daily. So I'm going to drag that down there. Um, let's just have a look here. Check what needs, play tomorrow, pay credit cards, plan tomorrow's task. That's definitely a daily. So I'm going to do that because you do that every day. A good productive person will be planning the day every day. And basically, I think that's about it. Yes, that's it. Okay, so those are the daily ones. Now, the great thing about this is I can now close that down and I can create another section. Again, all I'm going to do is just bring my mouse down slowly, add section, and I'm going to call this weekly. Here okay, we go, calling that weekly. I'm going to add the section. And now I'm looking for the tasks that are weekly. Now, this task here, wash car. Now, what I've got is it's every two weeks. So it's up to you whether you put this in monthly or weekly. There's no real guideline or rule on this. I'm going to put this in my weekly one. So I'm just going to drag that down again. I'm just going to put it under weekly. Uh, paying my credit card is definitely a monthly one. Check what needs to be bought at the supermarket. That's every Friday. So that's definitely a weekly routine. Clean out the rubbish in the office. Again, that's a weekly routine. So I'm going to put that in there and get this week's sales figures from Claire. Let's just imagine that that is also a weekly task. So we're going to put that in there. So that's great. I've done my weekly ones now, which means that I've only got a monthly one left. So I'm just going to add that monthly, add the section and just drag that down there. So that's great. Now I've got all my tasks organized by the daily, weekly and monthly. Now you can do this with inside a project as well. We can go inside our work project here and we can do, we can set up sections for projects. If we're working on projects, we can set up for different categories or areas of our work. It's entirely up to you how you set up these sections. And again, you can actually go up here and you can add section from here if you wish from the three dots up on the top right. I just prefer to drag it down. You'll see that it's always there. It's actually also there, I believe it's also in there in your inbox, but that's not necessarily important, but you won't find it in your today simply because today is acting as a filter. But let's go back to the routines. Now, once you've got these set up, what can you do? Well, let me first go back into work. I could set, I'm going to go into personal because there's more tasks in there. I could go in here and I can change the view to view as a board. But when I do that, nothing really changes apart from now I've just got these little cards that, well, I can't really move around because I have no sections. But let's go back into view and go view by list because that's just my preferred way. However, let's go into my routines here and go down to my routines. Now, because we've got sections set up, I can now go into here and, sorry, I'm going to the view, view right here, view as board. 
and what look what happens i'm just going to remove the menu the sidebar at the moment so let's just move that and you'll see now that my routines are organized by their different sections so i've got my daily my weekly and my monthly routines now for some of you you might prefer to see things in a visual way and this is a very visual way the great thing about this is once you have your section set up let's just say for example that actually i'm going to wash the car once a month now here in korea we're going into the winter time right now and winter means that we don't get very much rain it becomes very 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 dry so the car probably doesn't need washing every two weeks as it would do in the summer so maybe i'm just going to switch that across to doing it monthly now to be fair it doesn't change the date so if i go back in here you see that it's still every two weeks so maybe i would need to change that to every 19th of the month or every third saturday whichever way i want to do it but so you can move things around within your sections within boards so sections are really good when you're using boards so like for example here i can just add a new section i could add yearly i'm not going to do that because in my routines yearly i just put into monthly anyway so anyway that's that's neither here we're not talking about necessarily routines here so let's just bring back the menu so there's just a way that you can actually do this now another one that you could do is let's say that you work within a team you can create a section for each member of your team so in this case we've i know we've got claire so perhaps i'm just going oops i'm doing that wrong we'll go down here we'll add a section i'm going to call this claire so these are the tasks for claire and we've got uh let's say i've got jeff as well so let's g e o f f o o o f f Again, I'm doing that wrong. We could do the section. Sorry. What I'll do, by the way, is show you what it looks like when we go up here. Add section. So it just adds the section here. G-E-O-F-F. -F. Uh, and I've added the section for Jeff. So here I've got here. This is Let's just call that Jeff. And we'll call this one Claire. So I can move that in there. And again, when I switch this now to the board view. So we go into view at a board. I can see that these are the tasks related to Claire, these are the tasks related to Jeff. Now you can use this as you can see here. I've actually got Claire as a label and realize, okay, that's not really for Jeff. I need to talk to Claire about that. I can move it in there. So you can use labels or you can use sections for that. It's entirely up to you. So this is just a really good way of those of you who like to see uh, things is a little bit more cleaner as I think because when even on the list view you can see that sections make things very very clean and let's just say I don't need to see this and I, I can close it down I don't need to see that I can close that down and this gives me a really nice view of how I want to see my tasks throughout Todoist. So there you go there's just an, a quick overview of sections I hope you found it useful Thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work, because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired, or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.